everybody. This is the Central Business Architecture Committee meeting. Um, I'm opening up the meeting by offering to um, have anyone come forward with public comment on anything that's not on the agenda. Um, on the agenda tonight, we will be reviewing the photovoltaic canopy array over the parking lot at 71 King Street in Northampton, and as well as the review of the removal of a chimney um, at 41 West Street. Northampton. Is there anybody that has public comment about anything that's not on the agenda? Okay. Then we'll start off with um, the review of photovoltaic canopy at the parking lot over 71 King Street, map ID 32A121. Is there someone here to make that presentation? Sure. Could you please introduce yourself? Yes. Hi. I'm Chris Krasman with PD Squared Solar in Greenfield, Massachusetts. So I've been working on working with the manufacturer on the, the design and uh, integration of the system. Okay. Do you want to just walk us through the, the design a little bit? Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, st structural or? No, just um, kind of describe. We just received, well, I just received the, the drawings today. So maybe if you can just talk about um, the size of it and where it's located and just in general. Sure. I mean, a little bit, we have this, but you can walk us through this, actually. Yep. That's helpful. So can as you pull in. Oh. Sure. Go ahead and I'll just put it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Access, but I mean, 21st century. Well, okay. okay. We could do. Do you guys yeah. have paper that we can kind of share here? I have one copy here. Did you take a look at it? I looked at it on the line. Uh, Chris, why don't you go? Right. I, I think we can yeah. bring it here. If you want to go ahead, and just sure. Verbally. So, if you're familiar with the site on King Street. As you pass the building and go east towards the back lot, you do about a four and a half foot um, ramp down to the rearmost parking lot. And um, the system is about 82 feet long, 42 feet uh, wide. It will have a um, dual tilt, very similar if you've seen the systems at UMass that went in this year, it'll be the same manufacturer that okay. is doing that. There'll be three um, foundations associated with it, equity, you know, spaced evenly throughout. Um, I think there's, there'll be 16 parking spaces under it, um, 144 panels, 60 kilowatts, uh, and the will power will be used on the site and some will be exported to some other accounts. What's the head clearance? 136. Yep, 136. So the I think established by primarily by the um the fire and safe, fire and rescue. So it'll be the min the standard clearance mm -hmm. for emergency vehicle. Does anybody have any questions about the proposal? 
Yeah, I'm looking for a view or something uh, that indicates what this thing looks like from the public right of way, which is our concern. From the path? What people will see. From the street, from King Street. From King Street, yeah. public right of way. Not the path. Oh, from King Street. It will be pretty low visually. And are you familiar with the layout of the, of the More parcel? Less, but I would like to see or document it somehow. Mm hmm. Let me think if there's a good. I don't, I do not have a visual of it modeled from that perspective. It's something I can do. Um, I think with a CAD, you know, I could do it in the driveway. A CAD I mean, mock this, oh, is, this is the edge of the building, so right. you probably see a team of it there. And there's probably yeah. a six foot yeah. grade so, drop right there. Yeah, so the, that's right. right. This, you're, you're not really seeing that much of that from the street. No. And this is the side view. Right. From straight on, you'd see nothing. Yeah. That's right. From straight on, you'd be looking here. At the building. Right. So there'd be some you look straight down the driveway. Yeah, you look straight down the driveway. You'd see this. Yes. It's not visually portion. dominant. Now it'd be, it'd be pretty subtle. But the roof line would still be above, the, even if the, gr the gray drops, That's the roof right. line would still yep. be above this. That's level, correct. So you would see it. So you will see. So it will be that yeah, roughly the highest point. The, the lot continues, the grade continues to go away from the, um, towards the east on the lot. So the farthest point you'd be something like 15 feet. From from the asphalt so, level on the back, so on the furthest point back. I need two more types to do that. And so like online. this point is a lot green. So I don't have I think it's about 18 inches. This is on my actually. At this point, I'm here on the. I know, but the way that I projected this on the screen, just through a Wi-Fi connection, that's different from the okay. outside. In about five years, when technology changes, this is a reversible thing. Uh, easily. You know. Routers. Oh, oh, basically. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in how many years? Five. Uh, four. <laughs> I, I hope that these stick around for at least 20 or 25 years. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't want to put them in. <laughs> yeah, I think this. The system production of stuff guarantees it. it's a 25 year guarantee okay. warranty on the parts and components. Are they the uh, Atlas Sun Power panels? Yep. Yeah. Yep, Sun Power and Solaire is the, the fabricator of the, the steel and aluminum parts of the structure. Are there any other questions or comments? Um, Personally, I think it's a great project and we should put these up over every single parking lot that we have because it not only <laughs> brings in power, it shades the vehicles and reduces the um, uh, the heated island effect of the asphalt. So, um, and it's, uh, to me, it, it'll be primarily hidden by the building. Um, so I, I don't see anything that's uh, detrimental and it's not um, something that's attached to a building specifically, which is primarily what we're, our concerns are. Um, so I would recommend that this be approved um, with no conditions unless somebody has any conditions. So is I, <coughs> is I have a long standing business, business relationship with the owner of this property, does that mean I should recuse myself? What does that mean? But, uh, so it's a business relationship, so financially you're tied to the... Um, well, it buys insurance. Buy insurance <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So that means I should recuse yeah. myself. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any further public comment about this project? Okay. 
I'll close the public hearing and ask for a committee member to make a recommendation. That you had outlined the motion, that's why I said it's so moved, mm -hmm. and hoping that staff would be able to read it back to us. <laughs> um, well, the motion would be to approve the canopy as drawn with, the, with no conditions. Is that, yeah? Can I get a, a second that? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, so that closes uh, the photovoltaic canopy at 71 King Street. And now we're going to move on to the uh, review of the removal of a chimney at 41 West Street, Northampton map ID 31D-054. We have 30 seconds, right? <laughs> Perk set up. supposed to consult with us before they take the <laughs> chimney? <laughs> this is intentional. <laughs> it's not doctor, I promise. Uh, first off, my name is Tom Hartman, Colvin Hartman, thank you. And yeah, we were before you for 14 Green um, with the pediment, and thank you for your direction on that. Nice job, my lord. Yeah, thank you, yeah, I think it came out well. Nobody's complained, so nobody knows. <laughs> That's essentially what that means to me. <laughs> Um, so this is a project, this is the last building on West Street, I think in the Central Business District. It's on the intersection of West and Arnold. And so Smith bought this a few years ago. There's a number of apartments in here and it's under construction right now for interior renovations. We got into the building, we got up onto the roof. It's a mess. We're going to put a new roof on it. Um, there's some work to go on. They previously replaced the old boilers with new boilers. It's combustion, you know, side ventilation off the building. So these chimneys are really doing nothing for us. Um, so now we have an opportunity to simply remove them. There's two of them. And additionally, um, I reviewed this with uh, Louis Hasbrook. There's a deck here that since we have to take it off, it's not original to the building, but since we have to take it off to re-roof it, you know, it's a liability for the owner in terms of, you know, safety, we're not going to replace that. There's another one on the back as well that we're not going to replace. Um, but essentially, I'll just show you the plan and what's going on here. So this is that front deck. There's two chimneys, a skylight, and the deck in the back. Um, it's all going to be re-roofed. It's mostly a flat roof on the top with this mansard roof that comes around the side. That will be a uh, charcoal gray so that the whole building itself is brown. But you can see on the top, if, if we were to leave these chimneys, you know, they're in, they're in pretty bad disrepair. And so we figure the most appropriate thing to do is to take them off. And you can see them from the public view. So this, so you can see this. So this is at the corner near 14 Green, the building is there. So there's those two chimneys. But as you get in front of the building, they're not really there. Um, also, there's this fascia along the front, this fascia here that's behind gutters. I think about a quarter of this is rotten and needs to be replaced. So what we're proposing to do is to repair what's there, leave what's not rotten, and wrap it in a metal fascia. But more or less get the, almost exactly the same dimensions as shadow lines, but take the, the maintenance cycle out of it. Take the what? The maintenance cycle out of it. You, you know, this is wood right now. And so what we're looking to do is we'll just wrap that in a couple of bends. So more or less from the street, it'll look very similar. Any questions? I, um, I know this isn't relevant, <clears throat> but that whole front area under the 
deck was not original to the house, I'm certain. And <clears throat> if it disappeared, the house would look a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things to this building. If I bought this house and I was thinking about restoring it, that's something that I would seriously consider. It, you know, you lose some space, but you gain something that's probably pretty handsome. And unfortunately, I think that's the only occupied apartment right now. Yeah. Well, I just, I wanted to throw it in there. No, I, 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 it, I, I can see it. The, you know, that's, it's, um, you know, the architecture magazines call this remodeling. And it, it's a classic example. Yeah, these jealousies are, you know, oh, yeah. top notch for this climate. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, honestly, we've been doing a fair bit of this work with Smith as they get these buildings, and we get into one apartment and another apartment, we come back and say, can I get this whole building? <laughs> not really. So. Yeah, anything below the mansard is not worth keeping. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Can I get a blanket of approval for a complete demolition? Is that for two years? You didn't keep them answered, Ruth. No, we're, we're just we're <laughs> lopping off at the top. So, so I, focusing back on what we're actually reviewing uh, to, is the removal to, of the two chimneys. I, to me, yeah, uh, to me, if it were a choice between um, restoring it with the bad front on it and tearing it down and building something more attractive, I would go for the latter. But again, it's not. That's not, it's not what we're here about. That's not. I know Let's it's not what we're here about. Let's just focus on the Chris. chimneys. Chris. Excuse me. One second. Yeah, also, stylistically, those chimneys are purely utilitarian. They're not part of and the decorative right. aspects of it. Um, and so I'm not particularly worried about them, even to have some sort of yeah. advantage. I'm pretty sure no. Are there any further comments from this meeting on the removal of the chimneys? <laughs> sorry, I couldn't help. Uh, perfect. I'm sorry about that. Um, do you want to open it to public comment? Except there is no one else. There's no here. public. <laughs> um, Nobody cares. Yeah. Could I uh, get a recommendation from one of the committee members? I'll make a motion as proposed that the chimneys be allowed to be removed uh, from the specific house we're talking about. I'll second that emotion. All in favor? Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a little overtime tonight. <laughs> yeah. Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure that works. <laughs> Closing out 41 West Street. We also um, need to review the minutes from our last meeting, which Carolyn sent out later this afternoon. I'm not sure if anyone got to see it. Um, I think that they're accurate. Does anyone have any comments on them? I just wanted to add that, that in the part where I recuse myself as adding that. Um, Due to the Gabriel State being really the property, because I'm not involved in the property. Are there any other comments? Um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes with the correction? All in favor? All Thank you. Is there anything else, Carolyn, that we need to review? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> anything fun or exciting coming up? Um, I, there's a big stack of stuff. I think it's mostly planning board, but I feel like there's one central business. Not more than one, I think. <laughs> Is the lumber yard starting up? Oh yeah, they're in there. Moving right ahead, yeah, big time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw some action. Yeah, yeah they nothing got the site work demolition or anything like that. No, there's, they've yeah. already started like the site work in the back end. Yeah. Can I get a, um, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye.